Uh, it's worth it. Watch this. So 24 hours ago, just focus to the northwest where the upper left hand side of your TV screen. All right, because this is the air. If you don't like humidity that you'll enjoy. We had temps, dew point temperatures into the mid and high 60s to around 70 degrees. Got worse, getting worse south and east. Uh, again, basically anywhere south of 80 and east of 35. It's uncomfortable, but look up towards Spencer. Uh, that is the area. Mason City with two points are back down to the 50s. Ah, that is refreshing air that makes a big return for the day tomorrow. Temperatures on their way down. We mentioned yesterday that the cool air would come in first. The humidity would lag, but eventually we drop those humidity levels and that's what we're doing. Unfortunately, if you like this refreshing air, it's short lived, but so is the return of the humidity. It really only lasts during the day on Friday, but it's pretty miserable. Dew points back into the low and mid 70s with our shower and storm chances increasing. Uh, up until today, it had been about eight days since we saw appreciable rain across the area. Nowhere near the longest stretch that was back in 1952 with 45 consecutive days without any rain at all. And a little more recently, back in 2002, we had 42 days without rain. Yes, it's bad. The drought is bad, but yes, it can get worse. We have some downpours south of 80, east of 35, as I mentioned, heading off to the east. You can see uh, continuing east right along 34. There is some cloud ground lightning, and then you see even more lightning just off of the west of Melrose, and that is also moving out of Russell. So Russell give it about another 10 to 15 minutes and drier weather will move in. A ton of lightning. This is Jefferson right here at uh, Jefferson Street. You can see the cloud of ground lightning. That is going to be a quick hitting but heavy downpour as it rolls through. And if you look real close, you might see some brightening to the north in Marshalltown. 71 degrees north wind. So we flip the wind direction to the north. That is the refreshing air moving in. And you can see what it's done to our temperatures. Rain cooled air at 71 now in Des Moines. And our rain chance is going up even higher as we head into Saturday. 80%. I I think it's pretty much a lock though at this point. This system kind of pinwheels around Des Moines, but it triggers a batch of thunderstorms late, late, late tomorrow night. We'll watch that potential. See it scoot from Bismarck off to the south and east, north of 80. That's the best chance for storms. If we clear out, I am concerned about the potential for seeing severe weather. But with that low nearby, we have to keep the rain chances going into Sunday, which is great because of the drought. South and west of Des Moines, that's where we're focused right now on Friday for the severe weather threat. All modes of severe weather are possible. We'll keep an eye on that as we get a little bit closer. But look at this rain. Yeah, yesterday we were talking about one to three inches. Maybe someone gets up to four inches. It's possible and it's over several days. So that's good, some good news. Upper 50s for lows tonight. That is great. And then tomorrow we're up around 80 degrees. Refreshing air as we bottom out at 59 degrees. The shower is clear. Open up the windows and if you do that, you might need a blanket because it does get a little cool compared to the last few nights and then we're up to 81 degrees for tomorrow. Top 10 kind of day with the average highs about 86 or slightly below that. There's your eight day forecast. I mentioned we're turning up the heat. Stacy and Steve, you can see that we're back up near 90 by the end of the eight.